بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وأحسن الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بعض ظلالة وكل ظلالة في النار أما بعد Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So inshallah we'll continue from where we left off. And the Shaykh was discussing the, the nullifiers of Islam and the seventh nullifier which is regarding what was to do with uh, magic sihr. And we were up to the point in the lesson where the Shaykh Hafizullah was explaining what the um what the magicians do and he was explaining particularly um uh, the tafsir of uh surah al-baqarah verse 101 and 102 and 103 as we'll see so we'll continue inshallah with where we left off barakallahu feekum <clears throat> so the sheikh he says al-wajh al مستفاد من قوله تبارك وتعالى نبذ فريق من الذين أوتوا الكتاب كتاب الله and the Sheikh mentioned this last week as well and if we go to the meaning of this we'll see with regards to the meaning of this it is a party of those who were given the scripture threw away the book of Allah behind their backs as if they did not know. And the Shaykh goes on to say, وَنَبْلُ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ كُفْرٌ بِاللَّهِ لِأَنَّ الْإِيمَانَ بِكُتُبِ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ أَصْلٌ مِنْ أُصُولِ الْإِيمَانِ فَإِذَا نُبِذَ الْكِتَابِ انْتَفَى هَذَا الْأَصْلِ وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانِ مِنْ الْكَافِرِينَ بِاللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى So then the Shaykh says that this kind of uh, act of throwing the book of Allah with the revelation behind your back and not paying attention to it. Then the Shaykh says that the the book of Allah, he says that the Shaykh says that Iman, the, from faith and Iman, is having Iman in the books and the revelations of Allah, that Allah sent down. And it is a foundation from the foundations of Iman. And so, whoever does this, then, then they end up committing kufr or disbelief. In Allah Jalla wa'ala and what he sent down. So the Shaykh has mentioned here. He says the second aspect, Al Wajhu Thani, Fi Qawli Subhanahu, Wa Tabau Ma Tatlu Shayateen, Tatlu Shayateen, Ala Sulaiman. And if we go to this ayah as well, from uh, verse 102 of Surah Al Baqarah, we'll see that. The meaning is they followed what the devils gave out falsely of magic in the lifetime of Sulaiman. And the Sheikh says, وَعَرَفْنَا أَنَّ هَذَا الْإِتِّبَاءَ لِشَيَاتِيهِ نَوْءٌ مِنِ الْكُفْرِ بِاللَّهِ النَّاقِلْ مِنْ مِلَّةِ الْإِسْلَامِ وَمَا تُمْلِيهِ الشَّيَاتِينُ وَمَا تُمْلِيهِ الشَّيَاتِينُ لِأَوْلِيَائِهِمْ فِي هَذَا الْمَقَامِ أُمُورٌ تُسْخِطُ اللَّهُ أَزَّ وَجَلْ أو أمور تسخط الله عز وجل وتخرج فائلها وممارسها من دين الله عز وجل فينتقل بهذا الاتباع لشياطين من ملة الإسلام. So then the Sheikh goes on to say, says we know that this is following the that this is in in regards to following the devils the شياطين and it is a type of disbelief. In Allah Jalla wa'ala, and it results in the person leaving the fold of Al Islam, leaving the religion. And 
the the things that the sh- the things that the shayateen dictate and tell uh, their helpers to do in this in this situation or in this affair are affairs or things which anger Allah Jalla wa Ala and it ex- it end it takes the person who's doing it or the one who's exercising these duties for the shayateen it takes them out of the fold of uh, islam takes them out of the fold of the religion so it so doing this and doing things for the shayateen as they request them or dictate them to those people who are helping them then it takes them out of the fold of islam this was being mentioned there the third aspect al wajh thalithu fi qawlihi subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ma kafara sulaiman حيث برأ الله برأ الله عز وجل النبي أو سليمان في من نسبه إليه اليهود زورا وبهتانا أنه كان يتعاطى السحر وأن الملك الذي كان بيده كان بالسحر وأن الملك الذي كان بيده كان بالسحر وقد كانت الشياطين الشياطين بعد أن علمت بموت سليمان سليمان وضعت كتب السحر أو وضعت كتب السحر تحت كرسيه وقال للناس إنما ملك وما سخر إنما ملك وملك وما سخر له لتعامله بهذا السحر في ضوء هذه الكتب التي تحت كرسيه فبرى الله سبحانه وتعالى نبيه سليمان عليه الصلاة والسلام من فرية اليهود وكذبهم وهم من أعظم الناس كذبا وافتراء على أنبياء الله بل على رب العالمين فبرأ الله نبيه من السحر بقوله وما كفر سليمان فقوله جل وعلا وما كفر سليمان في سياك تبرئة نبيه سليمان عليه السلام من السحر دليل على أن السحر كافر أن الصاهر كافر لأن الله برأ سليمان من السحر بقوله وما كفر سليمان في هذا الوجه الثالث من الوجوه الدالة من الوجوه الدالة على كفر الساحر في هذه الآية. So then the Sheikh goes on to say that the third aspect is in the speech of Allah جل وعلا that uh, that Sulaiman alayhi salam did not disbelieve where Allah frees him where Sheikh says where Allah frees him of this disbelief that the um, the Jews have wrongfully associated with him with their lies um, and that uh, he came with he was engrossed in magic and doing magic uh, and that his everything that he had control of was to do with magic which obviously is a lie upon uh, Prophet Sulaiman. And the Shaykh goes on to say that the shayateen, the devils, when they learned that Sulaiman had died, they placed books of magic below his chair or his, his sitting place. And they told the people, indeed, all of what he had and all this power and everything that he, he had, it was because of him working with magic and obviously they lied so Allah in the Quran as we read the ayah of the ayah from Surah Al-Baqarah Allah freed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freed his prophet Sulaiman of of these lies that the Jews came with about him that he he, he was doing magic and this and the other which clearly he wasn't and these were from the miracles of Allah Jalla wa'ala that were given to him by Allah. And Allah gave him permission to be able to do these things. It's by way of Allah, as we know. And the Shaykh says that the Yehud, the Jews, they are from the most, they are, they are the most, from the most, or how could we put it? They are the biggest liars. And, and the, you know, conniving and the biggest liars upon the prophets of Allah. The Sheikh says rather they are the big liars and they lie about everything. The, everything basically they they they're known for their lies. The Sheikh goes on 
So Allah freed his prophet from the accusation of magic uh, where Allah said So the Sheikh says Allah's speech it's in the context of freeing uh, his prophet Suleiman from this accusation of magic and it's an evidence for us then as well to reflect upon Whoever actually is a magician and practices magic is a disbeliever. And it's because uh, Allah freed Suleiman of magic that he was accused of when we read the ayah Wama Kafra Suleiman. So the Sheikh says this is the third aspect in from the aspects with regards to magic being disbelief. The Sheikh wasn't to move move on to the fourth aspect he says al wajhu al rabi'u fi qawlihi walakinna shayateen walakinna shayateen kafaru yu'allimun an-nas as-sihr fa samma aw wasafa tabarak wa ta'ala sani'a shayateen shayateen bi ta'lim an-nas as-sihr bil kufr qala walakinna shayateen kafaru yu'allimun an-nas as-sihr so then the fourth aspect here where Allah Jalla said in Surah Al-Baqarah verse 101 uh, between 101 and 103 ra- but the, the devils they disbelieved the, the shayateen, the devils rather uh, but the devils they disbelieved teaching the people magic so the shaykh says Allah described or named and described uh, the actions and what the devils concocted and did uh, by teaching the people uh, magic with disbelief. So this is disbelief. Then the Shaykh was to say, فَهَذَا الَّذِي يُعَلِّمُ الشَّيَاتِينَ النَّاسِ هُوَ كُفْرٌ بِاللَّهِ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى كَمَا يَدُلُّ لِذَلِكَ هَذَا السِّيَاقِ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاتِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسِ السِّحْرَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى الْمَلَكَيْنِ بِبَابِ لَهَا رُوتَ وَمَا رُوتَ So then the Shaykh was to mention the ayah again uh, and, uh, with a bit more. Carrying on, and the Sheikh tells us that this demonstrates to us that t- uh, that magic is kufr, and whoever delves into it and gets involved into it, it leads them to disbelief. Then the Sheikh goes on to say, Then the Sheikh goes on to say, فذكر ف... فذكر أن الملكين الذين أنزلهما تبارك وتعال تعال ابتلاء ومعنى الناس في هذا المقام لا يؤلمان أحدا السحرة إلا بعد إخباره بأنه كفر ويهذرانه منه أشد تحذير ويجبران أنهما فتنة للناس إنما نحن فتنة فلا تكفر فهذا فيه دلالة وادحة ظاهرة على كفر على على كفر الساحر. So then the Sheikh goes on to mention the part of the ayah where uh, Allah mentions that He sent the angels to 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 Babylon, the, the two angels Harut wa Marut, and that they, as we all know, what they said to the people, they they told them, they warned them of the the disbelief and the fitna, the trials and tribulations involved with regards to magic, and 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 they and they were sent there as a trial and test, and they only taught the people after they had given them severe warnings about it to, as as test, uh, as we all know. So this is what the Sheikh mentions here. He goes on to say Al Wajusadis, the sixth uh, aspect of this. وَلَقَدْ عَلِمُوا لَمَا نِشْتَرَاهُ مَا لَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقٍ وَهَذَا الْوَجْهُ السَّادِسُ من الوجوه الدالة على كفر الساحر في هذا السياق ولقد علموا لمن اشتراه ما له في الآخرة من خلاق أي نصيب وهض ومعلوم أن المؤمن أن المؤمن الذي لم يكفر بالله سبحانه وتعالى له خلاق يوم القيامة له نصيب مآله إلى الجنة وهنا نفى الله جل وعلا الخلاق أي النصيب في حق من كان 
من اهل السحر اي ليس له نصيب يوم القيامه ومن ومن لا ومن لا نصيب له يوم القيامه اطلاقا ليس بمسلم لان المسلم له نصيب يوم القيامه وما قالوا دخول الجنه ولا يخلق في النار الا الكافر فمن قيل في حقه ما له في الاخره من خلاق اي ليس له يوم القيامه حظ ولا نصيب فهو كافر ليس بمسلم so then the shaykh says from the sixth aspect where he mentions uh, verse 103 of um, of surah al-baqarah and if they had disbelieved and guarded themselves from evil and kept their duty to allah far better would have been the reward from their lord if they but knew so this is following on with regards to uh, uh, the magic um, so the shaykh goes on to say that from this aspect it demonstrates to us the disbelief of ma- of of the magician in this context and that as mentioned that we just read the meaning of in english then uh, meaning that there won't be anything for that person you know there won't be a reward there won't be a good ending for them they won't be in paradise they won't have any portion of the hereafter as in the reward of it and the shaykh goes on to say here that therefore that tells us that the person practicing magic and doing these things it can't be a muslim is not a muslim because it's only a non muslim uh, i.e. a disbeliever that has no portion or anything in the hereafter in in, in uh, on yawm al-qiyam on the day of judgment it's a disbeliever that is in that situation not a believer so this is what the shaykh mentions here he goes on to say al-wajh sabi the seventh aspect al-wajh al-wajh sabi min wujuh min wujuh dalalati hadha siyaq al-mubarak ala kufr al-sahir qulu allah azza wa jal walaw annahum amanu wa taqaw lamathubatan min indi allah khairun law kanu ya'lamun law annahum amanu billahi wa taqaw wa taqaw as-sihra wa kullama naha allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anhu lamathubatan min indi allah khairun law kanu ya'lamun faqulu jalla wa ala fi siyaq an-nahi an-sihr wa annahu kufr wa bayan khutura as-sihr wa su'i aqibatihi walaw annahum amanu wa taqaw dalil ala annahum uh, laysu bi mu'minina ma damu yata'atuna as-sihra wa ma damu min ahlihi let me go back a second sorry let me make a correction here <coughs> give me one second okay yeah so just uh, what i said in the last paragraph let me just change that the ayah should be from verse 102 towards the end and they learned that which harms them and profits them not uh, here is a bit here is a bit we need to correct and indeed they knew that the buyers of it magic would have no share in the hereafter that's what i was meant to say in the previous paragraph so that's towards the end of verse 102 in surah al-baqarah and the shaykh mentions in this paragraph that we just read uh, the seventh aspect the ayah that i read previously so i'll repeat that ayah now and if they had believed and guarded themselves from evil and kept their duty to allah far better would have been the reward from their lord if they but knew so the shaykh says here then in the seventh aspect after correcting what we said in the previous aspect which is the sixth aspect then the seventh aspect here the shaykh mentions that uh the magician it shows us the disbelief of the magician and that they have uh, nothing in the hereafter and that if they actually feared and protected themselves and stayed away from magic as they were commanded to do uh then if they did that they would have much good and reward but because they fall into it they have nothing and this is what the sheikh has mentioned here and the sheikh says that this is in the context of prohibition that uh, you know a prohibition of magic and staying away from it and its dangers and its evil ending it's the conclusion that results in for the person who's doing magic and dies upon that then this is the conclusion the 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 end result of it is that they have nothing in the hereafter so this is what the sheikh mentions here <clears throat> so the sheikh continues he says فدل هذا السياق فدل هذا السياق الكريم على كفر الساحر 
من وجوه عديدة وأن الصاحرة لا يكون صاحرا إلا بالكفر بالله والمصنف رحمه الله اختصار اختصار أو اختصر على على وجه واحد من وجوه هذا السياق من وجوه هذا السياق المبارك على كفر الصاحر وهو قول وهو قوله تعالى وما يؤلماني من أحد حتى يقول إنما نحن فتنة فلا تكفر فهذا أحد فهذا أحد الوجوه في هذا السياق المبارك على كفر الصاحر So then the Sheikh, he just explains to us that the original author, Sheikh Al-Islam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, he focused just on one aspect from many, many aspects with regards to the ayahs that we've read in the tafsir of it. And they focused on the the uh, the, the the aspects with regards to uh, the fitna of magic uh, being sent down in this ayah that the Sheikh quotes here again, part of the ayah from Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Baqarah uh, that when the angels were sent down by way of testing the people uh, with regards to magic. So the Sheikh said that this is the angle that the author took in explaining and bringing those, be- those benefits with regards to what we've, what the Sheikh has explained above. <clears throat> so the Sheikh continues, he says, ثُمَّ قَالَ رَحْمَ اللَّهَ أَسِحْرُ وَمِنْهُ أَصَّرْفُ وَالْعَثْ Then the Sheikh says, the original author then quotes in his, in his book, uh, magic and from magic is a sarfu walatfu and we'll get to what that means inshallah the shaykh goes on to say ay min anwa sihr as-sarf wa latf wa hadha naw'un min anwa sihr as-sarf wa latf wa al-murad bi as-sarf ay sarf al-mutahabina al-mutawaddina an hadhihi al-muhabbat allati baynahuma fatanqalibu adawa adawa so the shaykh says as-sarf and Al-Atf, they are types of magic. They are from the types of magic. And what it means is, a surf, in English, let's say, taking something away from someone. We could say, taking something away from someone. And Al-Atf, we could say, like in the English language, uh, giving an attribute or making somebody uh, um, become uh, or follow a particular thing We'll see what it means in a second So the Shaykh gives examples to help us understand He says, for example, a sarf For example, in terms of Magic when it comes to a sarf Taking away something Is for example, you've got a husband and wife Or two people, they love each other They have that love and kindness and fondness uh, 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 Of each other, husband and wife A typical example Then taking that love away from them And turning it into hate Um uh, and, and, and and all that negative things, for example, hate and hating each other, then that's surf because you're taking away love which was between them and you're replacing it with that which is opposite to it. And atf is the opposite of that. So atf is where uh, you are, uh, for example, where somebody is trying to make them like them, so they'll come, they'll do this type of magic or. Uh, Try to get, uh, try to go to somebody, a magician, to have this magic done, where the person uh, starts to like them. So that's the opposite. You see, so this is what a sarfu and al atfu is. This is what the Sheikh mentions. He goes on to say, "Wa akthar ma yaqa'u dalika bain al azwaj, wa laysa muktasiran sihr al sarfi wa al atfi alayhima, lakin akthar ma yaqa'u bain al azwaj bi dhahabi bi dhahabi ahdihima ila sahir di hadal al gharad." Oh. So the Sheikh, he goes on to say in this paragraph, this short sentence that we've read, he says, most of the time, most of the time, or for the most part, this hap occurs, this type of magic occurs between uh, uh, husbands and wives. Yeah, or husbands or wives, you know, in, in a relationship. And he says that it isn't just revolving around that, but he just he says that for the most part it is it doesn't it's not restrictedly just with regards to uh, partners or, or, or husband and wife but it's it's mostly occurs there this type of magic and he goes on to say uh, with the intent of uh, making somebody like or hate etc like this this is the intent behind it the sheikh goes wasarfu bayna zawjaini yakunu bi'amalin ya'maluhu as-sahir 
فيؤثر في الزوجين تأثيرا يصر يص يصرفهما يصرفهما عن بعد عن بعد ويصرفهما عن محبتهما لبعض فتتحول المحب فتتحول المحبة إلى بغضاء وتتحول الألفة إلى عداوة وشنان وشنان والعطف بينهما أيضا يكون بأمر صاير فتتحول العداوة أو الكراهية إلى محبة وإذا كان مثلا يرد الزوج زوجته على صفة صفة ليست بجميلة أو ليست بحسنة يؤثر فيه السهر فيراها على خلاف ذلك أو أو العكس في الصرف تكون زوجته من أجمل النساء فبالسحر يراها من أقبح النساء فيغبدها ويكرهها ولا يميل إليها وكلما راها يراها قبيحة حتى أن بعض الناس يخبر يخبر في هذا الباب وقد كان وقتا طويلا يرى زوجته من أجمل ما يكون وأحسن ما يكون يقول عندما أدخل إليها أراها كأنها شيطان ولا أطيق أن أراها ولا أطيق ولا أطيق أن أدخل المكان التي هي فيه ولا تقبل نفسي إليها وإذا دخلت البيت الذي هي فيه أحس بكراهية ذي ما يت بتأثير السير هذا هو سير الصرف والعطف نسأل الله عز وجل أن يحمينا وذريتنا وذرياتنا وجميع المسلمين من شر السحرة وكيد الفجار وشر الأشرار بمن بمنه وكرمه سبحانه وتعالى فسحر الشر نظيم. So in this long paragraph that we read, the Sheikh explains. He says that basically it happens between uh, husbands and wives. Uh, or partners where in uh, in some examples for example you might have a husband uh, who doesn't like his wife for example the way she looks so he'll go to uh, get, uh, he'll go to a magician and try to have uh, the magician help in trying to make her look beautiful and beautify and using the shayateen and vice versa also it could be on the other hand where uh, uh, um, somebody else does it between a husband and wife so somebody else does this magic to make to break the husband and wife up so making one or the other look ugly or uh, not beautiful or uh, and things like that and up until the point the sheikh mentions that he, he was he was told uh, where someone mentioned to him that uh, there was a husband and wife and the husband whenever he would enter upon his wife he he would see, when he looked at her face he would see like uh, it would it'd be like the face of a shaitan or something ugly and and whenever he'd be around his wife he just feel this uneasiness um and uh, negative energy and uh being was wanting to be far away and this hatefulness within the heart and all this kind of thing and the sheikh says this is from the this type of magic that he mentioned asarf wal atf and he mentions that here and then he he makes a supplication for the protection of the muslims and the uh, our progeny and asking allah to protect the muslims from from this and to protect all of us uh, from uh, the magic of these magicians and the immoral ones and the evil ones and the evil. Um, so uh, the Sheikh says that uh, magic, as you can see, you know, it's a great evil. It's a great evil. Sheikh goes on to say, he says, وَلِهَذَا وُجُودُ السَّحْرَةِ فِي مُجْتَمَعَ مِنَ الْمُجْتَمَعَاتِ وَفِي بَلَدٍ مِنْ بُلْدَانِ يعتبر أو يعتبر من أعظم الآفات ومن أخطر الشرور ومن أعظم البليات لأن وجود سهرة في المجتمع فساد للمجتمع ومضرة عليه لأنه بالسحر يفسد المجتمع وتنشر وتنشر العداوات و وتعظم البغضاء بين الناس ويزداد الكيد والمكر بين الزوج بين الزوج والزوجه بين الأم وابنها والأخ وأخيه والقريب وقريبه والصديق وصديقه والرئيس ومرؤوسه تنشر عداوات عظيمة جدا وشر عريض في المجتمع بسبب السحرة ولهذا وجودهم 
في في المجتمع آفة خطيرة جدا ومضرة جسيمة ولهذا يجب على المجتمع المسلم المجتمع المسلم أن يعمل عملا جادا على عدم بقاء الصاهر في المجتمع والقضاء عليه وذلك عن طريق بولاة الأمر بالإبلاغ عنه والدلالة على مكانه حتى لا يبقى في المجتمع وحتى يقضى على هذه الآفة. So the Sheikh he mentions this important point here as well. He says that's why the presence. So the reason and the reason uh, uh, the presence of magicians in society from you know from the lands, the Muslim lands, for example, or just generally the lands, it was considered of it. It's considered from the greatest. Yeah, and the biggest uh, pandemics, for use our word, pandemic, and um, and it's the most dangerous of the from the most dangerous of the evils and trials that come about because of them, because he says because the magicians when they when they pre- when they are present um, within the society they cause corruption, they cause the society to become corrupt and they harm the society and that's what their work involves it involves corruption and spreading of evil and trials and tribulations and increasing hate between the people and increasing plots and you know all this that happens and you know causing families to break apart husband and wife to separate families to break apart and all this hate and evilness that comes from it to the point where uh, you split, uh, where uh, where wives and husbands are split apart, where mother and children are split apart, where brother where brothers are split apart, where relatives are split apart, uh, and family ties are split, um, and friends are split apart, and you know just the whole society in general, nothing good comes from it when these kinds of people are around doing their handiwork, the work of the shaitan, the devils. And the, the effects are far reaching, far and wide reaching. And this is why the Sheikh says that the, their presence within society is a great evil and harm and danger. And this is why it's obligatory upon the Muslim society that they work seriously, yeah, and effortlessly in removing these magicians from society by way of going to the authorities. And reporting their whereabouts and where they do their uh, magic and where they live and where they are, so that the authorities in the Muslim countries can take charge and deal with these people and remove them uh, from uh, the society and remove their harms by way of that. The Sheikh goes and say, "Wahdu Sahir." He'll explain now. The Sheikh explains what is the judgment uh, of the Sahir. What's the judgment when a, 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 a magician gets caught? And goes through trial, gets caught, is validated as a as a magician, and evidence has been brought forth. What's the uh, judgment? What what is the judgment in terms of the Sharia? He says, "Darbatu, darbatu, or darbatun bil saif, wa adadun, wa adadu kabir min ahl al ilm yiron anna ida kubida alay yuktal dun istitaba." لا يرد عليه التوبة وإنما يقتل مباشرة وفي زمن فائت قبض على أحد السهرة وقتل بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى ومنه منه ثم وجدوا في بيته ثم وجدوا وجدوا في بيته كثير من العقد والتلاسم كثيرة جدا فأخذت وجمعت وأحرقت مع تعوض وقراءة قل هو الله أحد والمعوذتين وأحرقت ولا إثر ذلك أحس كثير من الناس بأشياء كانت فيهم مبتلين بها انتهت في قلوبهم في نفوسهم في أحوالهم انتهت لأن السحر الذي كان وضع لهم أنهي بفضل الله عز وجل ومنه so the sheikh says that what is the judgment then for a, for a magician when he's brought to trial when he has been confirmed as a magician and all the evidence has been brought forth and the judgment has been made the judgment is that his neck should be struck he should be killed this and the sheikh says a great number of uh, of the scholars 
people of knowledge see that uh, this should be done uh, it should be it should be killed um, and uh, without without him seeking uh, forgiveness this is what they say and it, it shouldn't be brought forth to him in this manner and he should be killed straight away because of the harms and um, and the, the sheikh mentions that it was mentioned to him that a, a magician was caught uh, and he just wants to relate this story here to us that a magician was caught and he was found in his house in his house they were found loads of loads of different types of magic lots of different types of magic within his house you know in knots and in tied up and you know in uh, uh, these kinds of uh, uh, forms and appearances they found a lot of magic point being that uh, it, the authorities uh, the people the authorities they they gathered all of these and they burned them by saying a'udhu billah uh, seeking refuge with allah jalla wa ala reading qul huwa allahu ahad and al mawudatain surah al falaq and surah al nas upon it which is the way to do this and and because, and after burning them and reading the the surahs and seeking refuge with allah jalla wa ala uh, uh, once the magic and all that was burnt and it was all cleared out uh, he said that the people around the area the many of the people who were affected by the magic they felt like as if something a weight had been lifted from them and that they felt different like uh, when the magic had finished they felt that the, something changed within them within their hearts and within themselves and within their conditions because the sheikh says that the magic had been basically uh, you know uh, rendered uh, useless and the magic was stopped yeah and it had ended and this lifted the effects of magic from those people the sheikh goes on to say fasihr aw sahra afatun adima wa khatira fi al mujtama wa hum min adhr ma yakunu alayhi wa hum atba wa hum atba'un lil shayatin wa a'wan lil shayatin wa shaytan aduun lil insan la yuridu lil mujtama al muslim illa al fasad al arid wa sahra a'wan lil shayatin wa akhwan lil shayatin يعملون عمل الشياطين في إفساد المجتمعات ولهذا يجب على كل مسلم أن يكون ناصحا لمجتمعه في في القضايا السهرة بدلالة بولاة الأمر على أماكنهم وأماكن وجودهم حتى لا تبقى لهم بقية أو لا تبقى لهم بقية في في المجتمع لإفساده وإهلاك أهله. سدان بشيك says in summary then following on from what he said he says so magic and the magicians they are uh, 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 you know they they are a pandemic upon the people and they are a great danger upon society and for society and they are from the most dangerous and uh, they are from the ones who cause the most harm to the people and they are the followers of the shayateen they are the followers of devils and they are like the brothers of the devils and they are the followers of the devils and they and their helpers and they are and as we know the devils themselves from the shayateen the devils from the jinn the shayateen they are enemies to humankind and mankind they, they don't want uh, a muslim society except that there's um widespread uh corruption and and problems and everything and 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 and, and the, the magicians they are the helpers and the friends of these of these devils uh and their brothers and and they work with them to cause this corruption in the societies as a whole and this is why it's obligatory <coughs> upon every single muslim that he is uh, in a state of advising his society and the people that he lives with um that that this that magic that the magicians should be that they should be put to an end they should be finished off put to an end uh by going to the authorities in their lands and reporting this to their authorities through the right channels uh to get rid of this great evil and so to make sure that there isn't a space or a patch of land that these magicians are on meaning that to get rid of them clear and expunge them uh from society to stop the corruption and the destruction of the people the sheikh goes on to say wa min a'dham al munkarat an yu'alij al sahar bi sahar mithlu fa sahir la yu'ta wa la yutlab min jihati al ilaj wa la hatta 
ولا حتى فك السحر فك السحر لأن طلب العلاج من الساحر ولو كان المراد فك فك السحر الذي في الإنسان هو تديه لدين المسحور الذي ذهب إلى الساحر فإذا قيل لإنسان مسحور لا بأس أن تذهب للساحر لفك ما بك من سحر فإن هذا يعتبر تديئا لهذا المسحور لهذا المسحور وإهلاكا لدينه لأنه إذا ذهب لصاهر ذهابه لصاهر دياء دياء لدينه ولا يمكن أن يتعامل معه الصاهر في فك سهره إلا من خلال خطوات وهذه الخطوات التي يم التي يمليها عليه الصاهر دياء للدين وحفظ 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 دين الإنسان أولى من حفظ صحته فإذا كان في الإنسان معاناة من أمر من أمر معين ويظن أن ذلك بسبب السحر لا يحل له أن يذهب لصاهر لحل ذلك قد جاء في الحديث أن النبي عليه الصلاة والسلام سئل عن النشرة عن النشرة فقال هي من عمل الشيطان So let's just stop there for a second The Sheikh says and from the greatest of evils and from the greatest of these evils are when uh, is by is going to a magician for treatment or to uh, re- resolve uh, magic by going to a magician who's going to use magic to get rid of the magic that's been placed on you this is from the greatest of evils and that you go so the sheikhs basically in this in this uh, Paragraph he says that it's not allowed, it's impermissible for someone who thinks he may be affected by magic to go to another magician to resolve that magic. This is not allowed. This is what he says, and it is, and he because if somebody does this, if the person who's got magic or has done has magic done on him and is affected by magic does this, then he loses his deen. And the sheikh says that it's better for that person. It's more appropriate. A more right, more of a right, um, and it's more deserving that the person, the Muslim, he preserves his deen over his health because the deen is more important than his health, his religion. Because if he preserves religion, then he'll get the ultimate reward in the hereafter over his health in this situation. In this situation, the Sheikh says that there's a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he was asked. Uh, about Nushra, something called Nushra. And the, uh, and, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, it is from the handiwork of the shaitan. Yeah? It's from the handiwork of the shaitan. And the shaykh says, and Nushra, hiya hillu sihr anil mashur. Faqala hiya min amal shaitan wal murad bin Nushra huna lati hiya min amal shaitan ma kanat an tariq sihra, sahra, wa hiya la tahillu amma حل السحر باللجوء إلى الله وقراءة آيات الكرسي وتعوذ بالمعوذات والدعاء وحسن الالتجاء إلى الله سبحانه وتعالى والفزع إلى الله بالدعاء فهذا أمر مطلوب وهو علاج ناجح ونافع عظيم نفع ولا سيما آية الكرسي أعظم آية في كتاب الله سبحانه وتعالى The Sheikh explains what Nushra is he explains the hadith to us. So he says that Nushra, it is um, resolving this magic from the one who is affected by magic. And the Sheikh says that the Prophet said it is from the handiwork of the Shaitan. And the Sheikh says the point here, the, 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 the context here, uh, by um, the meaning of Nushra here, it is to do with lifting off this magic or trying to resolve this magic by way of going to the magicians to get it lifted and and this is haram not allowed <clears throat> and it doesn't really do anything in fact it makes things worse and the the sheikh says rather to resolve this magic the one should who is affected by it should seek refuge in allah jalla wa'ala he should read ayatul kursi and and you know uh, uh, seek refuge in allah and uh, make dua and you know uh, 
you know, try and improve himself in terms of his deen and, you know, turn to Allah with supplication, you know, and do all those things that are mentioned within the Sharia and the Ruqya as Sharia uh, that should be done rather than going to the uh, uh, magicians to get this lifted because obviously that is not allowed as we've learned from this hadith. It's haram. And the paragraph before that harms a person's deen. The religion of the person. The Sheikh says, A shahid, Anna saharata afatun adimatun wa fasadun aridun lil murshtamaat fa ida ulima bi yajibu an yumal al al kazaya lehi wa adam bi bakaihi bil murshtama wa la yahilu an yadul al nas alehi li gharad li gharadi fak is sahri li anna hada yu adi il al iraq fi hadi al afa wa tumkin. لسحرة والإبقاء عليهم بزعم أن الإنسان إنما أراد منهم إنما أراد منهم فك السحر أو فك السحر عن المسهورين لا أن المراد بذلك تعاتي السحر وأن يكون الإنسان وأن يكون الإنسان من أهله. so the sheikh says the point being that the the magicians uh, and, and magic itself and the magicians, uh, they're, they're, they're a, a disease amongst the people. Uh, they're a great disease and corruption amongst the people of far and widespreading corruption in society. So if somebody becomes aware and learns about their whereabouts and that they're there, then it's upon them to report them to the authorities and have them removed from the society to remove this harm. And it is not permissible and it's not allowed for uh, a person to uh, uh, guide another person and send them to these magicians to remove magic as mentioned previously in the previous paragraph because that just makes that just gives these magicians uh, a solid foundation to remain and people rely on them and obviously as we know this is all haram so this is what the sheikh mentions here in this um, uh, in this paragraph <clears throat> Let's see. I think, inshallah, what we'll do is we'll stop here for today and inshallah we'll continue in the next lesson. There won't be a lesson for, I'm, I'm going away, uh, so there won't be a lesson uh, for, won't be a lesson next week, but up to about three weeks, inshallah, I'll form you when the lessons are up, uh, maximum three weeks, and then we'll start again. We'll continue from this mark here, inshallah. Barakallah, people. Inshallah, we'll finish there. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta wa astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.